Hey everyone, this is the first installment of some vlogs I'm going to be putting out as well as some other content. Recently I've been doing some video work for two great musicians, Greg Matson and Dave Kolker. My cousin Aiden Panagrosso and I shot a music video for Greg back in the fall. We shot most of it at Mohawk Mountain. The coolest thing about that whole experience was we were at the top of the mountain and Greg plugged his amp into a portable power supply and cranked it and started playing and you just heard the, the beautiful guitar tone just echoing throughout the mountains. It was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. I met Dave at the first live show that we filmed. I got a chance to talk to him and uh, get to know him a little bit before the show and instantly I could tell he was a great person and a passionate musician. They are both amazing performers and a blast to work with. The first venue we filmed was a concert at the Woodbury Brewing Company in Woodbury, Connecticut. The venue looked awesome, the walls were all covered in decorations and lights. The stage was a good size and the place was packed. Chris, the keyboard player, brought this really cool Hammond organ with him with a rotating Leslie speaker and he had total control over the thing when it comes to him playing it and the tones that he was able to create with different pedals and changing speaker settings and stuff like that. It was just a sight to see, he knew that thing in and out. Frank Selman, the other guitar player playing that night with Dave and Greg, uh, he's a master on the guitar. He makes playing the guitar look like putting on a pair of pants every morning. Everyone on stage was so locked in with each other, the guitar and bass tones were perfect. Everyone looked at the drummer Sam for cues because he was able to direct the band in a perfect way wherever the direction of the song needed to go, whether it was speeding up, slowing down, more energy, less energy, ending the song all on the same beat. He had everything on point, on time, it was great. Mikhail, the bass player, was a ball of energy. It takes a lot to uh, dance around on stage like that for a while with a bass hanging around your neck. At one point they played the song Gold on the Ceiling by the Black Keys and it's a really bass driven song and he had a perfectly crunchy and fuzzy bass tone for it. He really nailed that one. Dave also laid down some really good solos that night. Uh, I really liked the look of his Fender Stratocaster guitar. He played some original songs that night. Uh, one of them that stuck with me was a song called Grandpa's Garage. The, uh, the instrumentation for it was great. The, the lyrics told a great story. Uh, I'll leave a link to the live version that we recorded that night. The sound engineer for Woodbury Brewing Company did a great job uh, recording all the multi-tracks. I got the multi-tracks, mixed them back here in the studio, um, so we were able to sync them up with the videos that we took, um, and I bounced out a whole track for it in about, I think it was about two and a half, three hours long of the entire set as kind of like a Greg Matson and Friends live from Woodbury Brewing Company type of thing. Greg's guitar playing and vocals were on point like always that night. His crowd interactions, great. Everyone was having a blast. Fast forward to New Year's Eve, Greg hired me to come shoot a show up in Boston for him at Loretta's Last Call. Um, the venue was right across the street from Fenway and it was part of a Boston bar crawl for New Year's Eve that night and the place was packed. They played as a four-piece band that night. Um, again, it was a blast. The crowd was so energetic. But when I tell you it was hot in there, it was about 85, 90 degrees. It was a very, pretty small place packed with a lot of people and there was a, a line, a long line waiting outside the door. There was a decent amount of people that didn't even make it in there by the time 12 a.m. came around. I focused a lot on the crowd that night because everyone was so energetic and having a lot of fun. I, and I ended up getting some great shots because of it. It was a little dark in there, but I learned some things, maybe bring a light with me next time, something like that, just in case the venue doesn't have adequate lighting of its own. The third venue that we filmed at was the Cutting Room down in Manhattan. Um, although it was extremely frustrating getting into the city, it was very worth it because the venue was absolutely beautiful. It was a much fancier venue than the last couple ones that we went to. Uh, those ones had more of a bar atmosphere, this one kind of had more of a, a restaurant type of theater atmosphere almost. Um, people were dressed up, sitting down for a good meal, watching great musicians up on stage. There were three acts that night. The first one was Dave's brother, followed by Greg, and then Dave's band. Um, everyone did a great job. All the bands had multiple people up on stage, which gave it a larger-than-life sound. There was an amazing Yamaha grand piano up on stage. The venue drum kit was beautiful-looking, sounded great. And fortunately, my cousin Aiden was able to come down to that one, so we were able to run two-man cameras and get some pretty great shots because of it. 
overall, all three shows were great experiences. Um, I'd like to thank my dad for coming and helping out for at uh, Woodbury in Boston for if I had to hand the camera off or I needed a helping hand, take a break for a second. Um, my mom and Liz also came to, Liz came to all three shows, but my mom came with my dad to Boston and Woodbury Brewing Company. It's nice spending time with people you care about while you're doing something you love for a living. Also, thank you for Greg and Dave for hiring me to come and film all these shows for you. Um, it was a blast. I will come film shows for you whenever you want in the future. I'm full-time in music and video production now. I'm recording Saved by Scarlet's new EP uh, here in the coming months. Uh, you'll be seeing some new content about that as well as some music covers. I uh, hope you enjoyed my first vlogging video and I will talk to you soon.